One more time, he allowed us to sing together. One more time, one more time, one more time, he allowed us to pray together. One more time, one more time, one more time, he allowed us to pray together. One more time. Good evening, New Beginning Church and our online family and friends. Thank you so much for joining us on this, the last day of 2020. We thank God that we have made it this far by faith. And God has just kept us all the way, all through 2020 as we were going through everything that we've been going through in 2020, God has allowed us to still be here and to still witness a possibility of 2021 coming in. We thank and praise God for his continued blessing, his continued favor on our lives. And we just thank you so much for joining us on this night. This is New Year's Eve. 2020, December 31st. Bless the Lord. He has done great things. He has done great things. Bless Father God, we thank you now, Lord. We bless your name. We thank you for your mercy and your grace. We thank you, Father God, for another privilege, another chance, another great opportunity to come before you. We thank you, Lord, for you blessed us yes, to make it this Jesus. far in the name of Jesus. Yes. God, we thank you, Lord, for blessing our lives and keeping us in the midst of trouble, in the midst of tribulation, yes. in the midst of unhealthy situations. You've given us another chance just to say thank you. Now, Lord, we pray that you bless us this night. Bless us to be about your business. Bless us to do your will. Bless this time that we have with you tonight, that we will glorify your name in all that we do. And, Lord, we ask you to keep the glory, all the honor and all the praise. It's in Jesus' name we pray and we ask it all. Amen. And thank God. Bless him. Bless him. Bless him. Bless him. Bless the name. Bless his name. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us here tonight. Thank you for being a part of our watch night service as we watch the old year flee and get into the new year. We thank God for the opportunity of being here one more time. And uh, tonight we've had our praise, and this is how our hour of power will go tonight. We will have our praise period. We will have also our prayer period, which we just had, thanking the Lord for what he has done. And then we will have our welcome. And we're at the point of our welcome now in our occasion. And then we will have a testimonial period where you will get a chance to key into your electronic device and thank God publicly for what God has done. As you thank him publicly, publicly, we may not call everybody's name, but we want to tell people of what God has done in the goodness that he has yeah. blessed us with. And so we're going to attempt to keep up with you as you testify <laughs> of what God has already done. So this is our watch night service as we watch the old year flee and the new year come in. So thank you for joining us to our visitors. Thank you for joining us all year long. Yes, this is our watch night service. And as we watch this year leave, we're welcoming in a new year. Now just realize, just because 2020 is leaving, 
dangers are still lurking around us. Therefore, we need God on our side. We need him to bless us and keep us. So right now, this time, we want to ask you to go ahead, go ahead and key in in your electronic device what God has done for you. We can testify. This is one way we can testify of God's goodness and tell others about what God has already done. Sister Wood says she thanked God for one more time. <laughs> one more time to get together. <laughs> one more time to celebrate him. So we are thanking God for one more time. We thank him for just being good to us and walking with us. Sister Davis, you want to tell us about what you're thankful for? Well, you know what? If you have been following following us all year long, you already know my testimony. I am just so thankful to God for healing me of breast cancer. It was a long time coming, but God, through the prayers of the righteous and to everybody, uh, in your support, God has healed me. It was 13 months, and I, I'm so happy to say that I am just free from chemo pills, free from radiation. I thank God that he brought me through the surgery, and thank God that he has kept us through the pandemic, because if you are listening to us on tonight, God has kept you through the pandemic, and he's kept you safe. And it hasn't been because of the mask or the social distancing, but it's because God has favored us. And we just thank and praise God for favoring us and keeping us safe through this pandemic. And we know that we, we know that we don't know what's going to happen in the future. But whatever happens in the future, guess what? We know that we can just call on God and God will be right there. In fact, God never leaves our side. So we just thank and praise God for that. Thank God for what he has done. Yes. I want to thank God for not only healing Sister Davis and blessing us, <laughs> but blessing us to walk together. This was truly a journey that we had not taken before, but God gave us favor. And I want to thank her publicly for allowing me to walk this journey with her, <laughs> to serve her, and to, to walk with her and to be a blessing to her as she has been a blessing to me. Thank you so much. And let me say this, and I, and I want to say this because if it had not been for God, we know I wouldn't have made it through. But I also want to thank my husband for Matthew for being right there. I didn't have to go to a doctor's appointments by myself. He was right there, except when I had surgery. When I had surgery, he had to drop me off because they would not let him in the hospital. But I just thank Pastor Davis for, uh, for being there by my side every step of the way. Thank Amen. you. Appreciate it. Amen. Thank God for the privilege of being there. As you see us looking down, you usually don't see me looking down doing my presentation, as you know. But as you see us looking down, we have about four devices working. <laughs> We're waiting on your testimony. We're Amen. waiting on you to Amen. talk about the goodness of God and what God has already done in your life. So we're waiting on you to key in the things that God has done in your life. We see those who are present and we know that they're thankful. We see Sister Whitlock, we see Sister Walters, we see Sister Henry, see Sister Irving, see Sister Woods. We see those who are already present. The rest of them coming, we've saved seats to those who are yet coming. <laughs> you know, when we were in church service, I oftentimes said, the seats in the back are saved for the folk that's on their way. <laughs> I say to you, even on your electronic <laughs> device, the seats in the back are for the folk that's on their way. We see Sister Darrington present. We thank All Sister right. Darrington. And she says she is praising the Lord for 2021 for Pastor and Sister Davis. So we thank God for, for 2021. And if we don't get there, mm -hmm. we serve a God who <laughs> has been on our side. Yeah. If we do not make it, it's all right because God has blessed us. And we know it's been a tough year. We know it's been a dangerous year. But we know that God is the one who has kept us. And we are so glad that God has kept us one more time. He has blessed us one more time.
Sister Bridgeford is here. Doris Bridgeford, she thanks so much for praise and she's thanking Jesus Christ for allowing her to be here. So thank you so much, Sister Doris Bridgeford, for always uh, tuning in to our station and watching us and also encouraging us. We, we praise God for you. So thank you so much. Sister Diane Henry is thankful for God that she is still alive, Amen. that we are still alive. So many people we know did not live to see last year. And we thank God for to see 2020 throughout the last day of 2020. And we thank God for it. God lives despite of COVID-19. Yes, God. God does. God and, does. And we know that there is nothing too hard for God. And you know what? COVID is not too hard for God. No. God can heal the land. God can heal us. And he has healed so many people that have gone through COVID-19. And we thank God and praise God for your report that you have made. So thank you. My classmate, Sister Dem Demetri Young, is present with us. We thank her for her faithful attendance on a regular basis. We thank her for being a part of, of our service on tonight. Come on, testify what God has done for you and what God has done through you. As we go through this testimonial period, I want to remind you that uh, we are having communion tonight at the end of this service. So if you want to run in the kitchen, don't go very far. Don't leave the house because when you get back, it'll be over. But run in the kitchen and get your drink and get your crackers or get your bread so we can celebrate by way of communion. Jesus says, for as often as we do this, we show forth his death and his suffering until he comes again. Sister Lydia Darrington says she's thankful for God's grace in the midst of it all and through it all. She's thankful for God's grace. We are thankful for, for God's grace. For some reason tonight, everybody's giving thanks to the righteous God. Everybody Amen. is giving thanks to the powerful God. And certainly that's the God that we ought to, to give thanks to. We thank God for this moment, for blessing us, for keeping us for wrapping his arm around us, for making a way out of no way. Sister Young says that God has kept me from COVID-19 since the beginning. And Lord, I thank you for it. Lord, I'm thankful. I'm thankful for God keeping her as he has kept us. Amen. And all of our family has been kept. Some has, has lost family members and, and God has kept us. Sister Rosalind Thomas is watching. Sister Rosalind Thomas was my Sunday school teacher at the oh, wow. Homer Street Church, and, <laughs> and she helped spiritually beat me in shape. We want to thank her for joining us on tonight. We want to thank her for joining us in our, our last service of the year, Amen. our watch night service. We want to thank her for, for being a part. And I know once this pandemic is over, I can't, can't wait to get back in church we can just get back to some uh, sense of normalcy and get in church. And I just know we're going to just be praising God all over the sanctuary. But until then, we're going to praise him in our homes right now and just give him the glory. And we thank you for that. Amen. We serve the awesome and the amazing God. And he has blessed us one more again. Hallelujah to the Lamb. We thank you. We thank him. We thank him Amen. for just being, being God. I oftentimes say he's God all by himself. There's nobody, no one like our God. There's nobody like our God. He is that Jehovah God, the Lord himself, the self-existing one. Amen. 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 Hallelujah to the Lamb. Earlene Collier, all the way from Mississippi, she thanks God for his grace and his mercy. Amen. So all the way from Indianola, Mississippi. Sister Collier, for always your support in uh, worshiping with us. Amen. Thank you so much for, for just being God. You ought to thank him. 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 He allowed us to come together one more time.
God has been so good this year. Sister David let me sing along with her this time. <laughs> and I'm grateful for it. I'm grateful for it for us being able to sing together. Sister Hazel Carter is watching. We thank her for being a part of our church and uh, watching here on tonight. We also have Sergio Melo and his family have joined us on tonight. So thank you, Mr. Sergio Melo and family for joining us. Amen. Reginald Rose has joined us. Thank you. We are serving the awesome in the amazing God. And my serving. sister, Bessie Williams, has joined us. Thank you, Bessie Williams. Thank God for who he is and what he has already done. We, we praise him on tonight. If you haven't gotten your testimony in tonight, go ahead and put your testimony in. As this song comes to a close, I just want to share a word from the Lord with you. just want to show, share just a brief word from the Lord with you, and then we're going to have communion. We're going to celebrate what God has already done. We want to celebrate what God has done, and after I have shared the word, of course, I will open the doors of the church and give somebody a last minute to get to know Jesus in 2020. Amen? And after I have shared with you the open doors, it's at that point that we will have, have communion, and then we will have our watch night prayer. After we have communion, we have our watch night prayer, and then we will have the benediction. And you can go on and watch the ball drop in in in, in uh, New York if you would like to. We want to we want to thank the Galvan family for joining us. They want to thank God for keeping them healthy and keeping them employed right. during 2020. I'm telling you, <laughs> only God has kept us employed. A lot of people have lost jobs. A lot of family members have lost their lives. And we want to thank God for what he has done. Sister P Patricia Adams is watching. We thank her for, for being a part of our, our Watch Night service on tonight. We thank you. You see, a year ago, we wouldn't have been able to, <laughs> to transfer information. We wouldn't have to transfer information by way of an electronic device. But uh, the COVID-19 came in, came in like a flood. But God raised a standard up against it. Yeah. And we are still here. We are still here. Sister Hazel Carter says, I am just thankful for all God has done in my life and the life of my family. We want to thank God for, for what he has done in the life of our family. Thank you, Sister Michelle Swain, for joining us. We appreciate your support. Amen. I just want to thank you, Lord. If you have your Bibles, if you have your Bibles, if you would, look, look with me at, um, at uh, First Chronicles, First Chronicles, chapter 16, verses 11 and 12. 1 Chronicles chapter 16, verses 11 and 12. 1 Chronicles chapter 16, verses 11 and 12. 1 Chronicles, in the Old Testament, if the Lord spares, we'll be looking a lot at the Old Testament in 2021. For tonight, just want to share a brief word with you. Uh, you know this hour would not be an hour of power if we wouldn't share the word of God. First Chronicles chapter 16, verses 11 and 12. I'm reading from the New King James Version, First Chronicles chapter 16, verses 11 and 12. The New King James Version reads like this. Seek the Lord in his strength. Seek his face evermore. Remember his marvelous works, which he has done, his wonders in the judgments of his mouth. He says, seek the Lord and his strength. Seek his faith evermore. Remember his marvelous works, which he has done, his wonders and the judgments of his mouth. 
I want to talk about seek the Lord. 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 As we move from 2020 into 2021, we need to wash our hands regularly. We need to make sure that we sanitize our hands when we are not close to water. We need to make sure that we wear our mask and max mask up. I have put forth a 140 day challenge for us to always wear our mask. And then after that 140 days, we will go forth and we will reevaluate and see if we need to continue to wear our mask. Tonight, our message is not so much about wearing your mask, keeping your distance, washing your hands, sanitizing your hand, not having parties. These things we must do. But above all, we must seek the Lord. We have to seek him. We, we got to look for him. We must seek the Lord. Many of us have sought him. Many of us have looked for him. Many of us have searched for him in the year of 2020. When we leave 2020 and get over to 2021, we still have to seek the Lord. If Big Mama was here tonight, she would say the same bridge that brought me over is the same bridge that I'm going to maintain is the same bridge that's going to take me back. This word seek in the original Hebrew means to inquire about the Lord. This word seek means to, to diligently, to usually follow after the Lord. This word seek means to search diligently for the Lord. We ought to make sure that we pass the word on to young men and young women that they need to search the scriptures. For in the scriptures, they will find the Lord and they will find safety. Yes, it doesn't matter how old you are, how young you are, there's a need for you to seek the Lord. Then he says, not only seek the Lord, but you ought to also seek the Lord and his strength. This word strength is translated might. This word strength is the, the act of seeking the Lord with boldness. Matter of fact, this word strength, you ought to seek the Lord's boldness. You ought to seek the Lord's loudness. You ought to seek the Lord with praise. And you ought to be forceful when you seek him. The problem I have with many church folk is that they come to the point in their lives where they will tell you that they are not loud like that. They will tell you that they are mild-mannered. But whenever their favorite activity is taking place, they get loud. They get bumptious. They get run bumptious. They get all excited. I'm telling you, we ought to not only seek the Lord with enthusiasm, we ought to seek his strength. His strength is his power. His strength is his strongness. We ought to seek the Lord. Then he says, not only should we seek the Lord and not only should we seek the Lord's strength, we ought to also seek in request of his face. He says that we ought to always seek the face of the Lord. When we seek his face, we ought to make sure that we do some things that every other person is not doing. First of all, when we seek his faith, we ought to pray. 
We ought to talk to God. This word prayer means talking to God. This word prayer means to consult with God. This word prayer means to make sure not only do we let God hear us, but we ought to also hear from the Lord. You see, prayer, prayer is not a monologue. Prayer is a dialogue where God talks to you and you talk back to God. He says we ought to seek his face. If we're going to seek God's face, then we ought to seek his face through prayer. We ought to seek his face individually. And we ought to seek his face corporately. Yeah, you ought to have a place. You ought to have a place. You ought to have a place in your house. You ought to have a spot in your car. You ought to have a spot in your shower, in your restroom. You ought to have a spot that you go to when you're seeking the face of God. You, you got to make sure that you seek his face. You have to look for God. You have to search for God. The Bible says you ought to seek him. Verse number 11. First Chronicles 16, verse number 11 says you ought to do it continuously. This word continuously means perpetual. This word continuously means you ought to do it daily. This word continuously means you ought to do it consistently and constantly. You ought to, do, you ought to seek the Lord regularly. Therefore, as we move into 2021, I've already said to you on Sunday, we as a church and we as a church family, whether you are a member of New Beginning or not, we're going to be listening to the word of God. We're going to do daily listening to the word of God. We're going to listen to the word. We're starting tomorrow. We are listening to, to Genesis chapter 1, 2, 3, and 4. We're going to take four chapters a day. Four chapters a day. We're going to listen to the word of God. If we're going to seek the Lord's face, we have to know what the Lord has to say. So as a church, as a body of believers, along with our visitors, family members, and friends, we're going to listen to the word of God daily, taking four chapters, chapters a day. We're going to listen to the word of God. Our daily listening and as we listen, we're going to journal the word of God because we are seeking his face. If we're going to seek God's face continually, we got to hear what God has to say continually. We must seek his face. Verse number 12 says we must remember his marvelous works that he has done. We must remember what God has done. If we have not received what we thought we should receive, we ought to still seek God's face and remember the great things he has done. Yes, God has done some things that we didn't like. God has, has allowed some things that we didn't agree with, but we need to look at the positive side of life and thank God and seek him and remember we need to remember the great things that God has done. We have to engage. Engage. And because I remember the great things that God has done, I'm not going to run away from tithing and offering. If I remember the great things God has done, if I know God has been an awesome and a mighty God, I'm going to engage. I'm going to support the Lord's ministry through tithes and offering, I'm going to engage. The fourth thing I'm going to do, I'm going to have godly affirmations. Verse number 12 says, remember his marvelous works that he has already done. Remember his wonders and his judgments in the judgments of his mouth. We must remember and when we remember the great things God has done, we must make sure that we speak positive reminders of God's blessings. We have to speak positive reminders of how God has not only blessed us, but has blessed others. We need to remember his marvelous works. 
And as we engage and give tithes and offering to the ministry of God, we have affirmations that we're going to speak. And we're going to speak those affirmations to ourselves. We're going to speak those affirmations to other people. We're going to speak those affirmations in the morning. We're going to make sure that we go back and look at, examine, and going to recall and remind ourselves as well as reminding others of God's blessings, God's goodness, and God's wonders. Fifth thing that we're going to do, we are going to study. We're going to study. We're going to study. We're going to spend quality time in God's word. Every, every Monday, every Monday, I try to, to send out a daily reading. Every Monday, I send out a daily reading for the next seven days. We are to read and study the word of God. It prepares us for the Sunday school morning. And it prepares us to get our day started, started and get our day continually saturated with God's word. So we have to study. We have to study. We're going to listen to the word of God being played over our electronic devices. But we're going to study and read the word, spend quality time in the word of God, in our daily readings, making sure that we walk with God as God blesses us. The final thing that I propose to you tonight, and that is evangelism. I know, I know we are distant from people right now, but we have all kinds of electronic devices. I want to say to you today, let's take on the example of the young people. Use our electronic devices for good and not bad. Evangelism. Evangelism is sharing the good news of Jesus Christ. Evangelism is sharing the word of God that men may be convicted to come to Jesus Christ. Evangelism, we want to make sure that we evangelize in such a way until God is able to touch the hearts of somebody else that they will come to know Jesus Christ as their Savior. Well, preacher, if we can't do it in person, how do you want us to do it? You all are sure asking some good questions the last day, the last night in 2020. We're going to evangelize, regularly share the word of God. First of all, we're going to try to do it in person with our mask on. We're going to share the word of God to unbelievers, to the unchurched, the unbaptized. We're going to share the word of God by way of testifying of God's goodness, by telling the salvation story. We must evangelize. We must tell men, women, boys, and girls about the goodness of Jesus the Christ. It's right there. It's right there. We must remember his marvelous works. Remember what God has done in your life. Remember what you used to be. And God bless you to be who you are now. And as we remember his marvelous works and those works that he has done, we remember his wonders, we need to make sure we pass it on to somebody else. Evangelizing. Regularly sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ. First of all, although many of us will not be able to do this for a while in person, you do realize that God knew that COVID-19 would come along. And even though he knew that COVID-19 would show up and we would have to wear masks, we would have to continue to wash our hands, we would have to continue to sanitize our hands, God knew that COVID-19 would show up. Even though he knew it, he gave us mechanisms. He gave us stuff. He gave us the ability to share the good news of Jesus Christ. Every Sunday and every Wednesday, when Sister Davis begins, she says, she makes a request to all of us that we all would share this video, that we all would start a watch party, 
One good way to evangelize is to start a watch party. Start a watch party on your electronic device. Start a watch party that other men, women, boys, and girls that you know personally that are your friends can hear the gospel being preached. Start a watch party. The other way to evangelize is to share the video even after the video is done. I'm saying to all of the New Beginning Church members, as well as our visitors, go ahead and start a watch party every time we come on. Then after the, after the video is concluded, then I want you to go ahead and share the live recording after the live recording has become a recording. I want you to share the watch party. I, I want you to, to share the video. The third thing I want you to do, I want you to, to take it upon yourself to write a person that you know is not saved and share the gospel story. Write a person, write a letter, write a note. Every now and then, put a note even in your enemy's pathway. Write a letter and share with them the good news of Jesus Christ. Write a letter, uh, write a note to let them know that you have not always been saved. Write a letter, write a note, let them know that God had to snatch you from burning hell. Write a letter, write a note, and let them know that, that God is blessing you because you have come to him just as you were. Tell somebody about the good news of Jesus Christ. Now, if you have followed my pattern on tonight, you have discovered, if you have taken notes tonight, you have discovered that I presented to you an acrostic. An acrostic is when you take the first letter or some letters within each statement and it spells out a word. The first thing I said to you, we must pray. The second thing I said, we're going to listen to the word of God. When we pray corporately, the New Beginning Church corporately, we meet for prayer every second and fourth Tuesday of every month. Every second and fourth Tuesday of every month, we meet for prayer corporately. We meet by way of Facebook. I mean, I'm sorry, we meet by way of Zoom and we meet by way of conference call. On the second sun, second Tuesday, we meet by telephone, conference call. On the, on the fourth Tuesday, we meet by way of Zoom for prayer time, talking to God and letting God talk to us. So my first point in, in this acrostic was pray. My second point is we are developing a listening ear for the word of God. So my second uh, part of this acrostic is listen. We are listening to the word of God daily, starting tomorrow. I've already begun listening. As I have begun listening, I realize that it's only about 20 to 30 minutes to cover all four chapters. Just listening, just picking up our electronic device or picking up some device and just listening to the word of God. It helps us because we don't have to pronounce all those long words that we, we, we don't know. The second thing I said to you, we must engage. We must engage by supporting the Lord's ministry through tithes and offering. We must engage by, by supporting God's ministry. Regardless of if we're in the building or not, we must engage by giving our first seed to the Lord. The first 10% belongs to him anyway. You must engage. You don't engage because you're in the church. You engage because the Lord has blessed you. And if you are not working full time and you're bringing in anything, you must engage by giving the Lord 10% off the top, 10% of your gross income. Engage by supporting the Lord's, the Lord's ministry. The next thing I said to you, you must have some affirmations. You must have affirmations. 
You must have affirmation. Those affirmations means that you must speak positive reminders of God's blessing. It says it in the text, we must remember the things that God has done. We must speak positive reminders of God's blessings. The next thing I said to you, you must study, spend quality time in God's word. So at the New Beginning Church, what we do, daily Bible study, daily Bible study. I send out a Bible study every Monday for the next seven days. Daily Bible reading, studying the word of God. All of us ought to be on one accord studying the word of God, reading the word, reading God's word daily. The final thing I said to you, we must have evangelism. We must share the gospel good news of Jesus Christ. We must share God's good news. And I presented to you several means. You can put it on your Instagram. You can put it on your TikTok. I love to see some TikTok videos sharing God's words. I have not seen but one or two. We need to share the gospel of Jesus Christ on our watch parties, on our TikTok, on our Instagrams, on our Facebook pages. And we need to share the Lord's word through watch parties, through Facebook Live. Share it after the video is over. Share it. And then I propose to you, you need to share the word of God in writing. Write a letter, write a note to somebody you know that don't know Jesus. It could be your friend or your enemy. Share the good news. You don't have to write a long letter. Just a half page explaining that over 2,000 years ago, that Jesus the Christ died on a skull hill called Calvary. And Jesus the Christ died for you and he died for me. Mean men killed him. He died on a skull hill called Calvary. They took him off the cross. They laid him in a borrowed tomb. Early that third day morning, he rose from the dead with all power in heaven and earth in his hand. We just need to share the gospel. And as we share the gospel tonight, there may be somebody listening to me tonight who need to know Jesus. As we push toward that last moment, as we move toward that last second of the night, you need to get to know Jesus on this last night in 2020. You can invite him into your heart right now. You can invite him into your life right now. Just ask Jesus to come into your life and make you a new person. Just ask Jesus the Christ to come in and Tell Jesus you believe that he's the son of God. That he died for your sins. That he rose from the dead. If you would, bow your head with me and invite him into your life right now. Just repeat after me, Lord Jesus. I believe that you are the son of God. I believe that you died for my sins. I believe that you rose from the dead. Now come into my life and make me a new person. Thank you for saving my soul. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and thank God. We believe that if you pray this prayer trusting in the story that Jesus died for your sins, rose from the dead. We believe that you're saved and you're on your way to heaven. You can rejoice now and we can rejoice together that you are on your way to heaven. You are born again. Jesus has welcomed you into the kingdom of God. There may be others of you who are saved and know that you are, but for some reason or the other, you have not been following the right path. This is your moment. Why don't you just tell Jesus right now, Jesus I messed up. I've fallen short. You've saved me. I ask you to forgive me. I recommit myself to you. I rededicate myself to you. Now come into my life and make me a new person. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and thank God. The third appeal that I make tonight, if you're in between church homes or don't have a church home, I recommend the New Beginning Church. Well, Jesus is the captain. 
where Jesus is the center of attention, where Jesus is the main attraction. You can come by letter. You can come by Christian experience. You, you can come by salvation. You can come by baptism. You can come and join the New Beginning Church. Just inbox me and let me know you want to be a part of the New Beginning Church. And we will welcome you. If you've received Christ tonight, we're glad that you have done that. Please let me know that you've received him during this broadcast. And we welcome you to the family of faith. And now it is time for us to give to communion. Participate in communion. Partake in communion. For Jesus says, as often as we do this, it shows forth our death, his death and his suffering until we come again. So go ahead and get your communion handy. If you have a sealed cup and crackers like I do, go ahead and, and dis detach them from each other. If you got a cracker or some other drink, go ahead and participate with us in communion. It is an opportunity to give yourself to God through communion. Let us go to God in prayer. Father God, we thank you now. We bless your name. We thank you for this privilege of taking communion. We pray for every household. We pray for every saint, every born again believer, that we will not drink damnation unto our soul. Bless us on tonight as we eat and we drink. Lord, forgive us for our sins. The sins that we've committed today, the sins we've committed all year long, Lord, forgive us. Lord, forgive us for messing up. Forgive us for not forgiving. Lord, bless us. As we come before the table, we've come before the, the bread and the drink, we ask you to bless us in the name of Jesus. That we will live for you. And we will bless your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and thank God. So go ahead and take your, your drink and your bread and uh, participate with us as we participate with the Lord in communion. When Jesus met with his disciples before his death, he said, this is my bread. He broke it and he blessed it. He said, this is my body, and I give my body for you. Eat ye all of it. And he held up the cup. And he said, this is my blood, and this is for the remission of your sin. Drink ye. Amen. Bless the Lord. You have just participated in your final service, your final communion for the year of 2020. And as we move toward 2021, let us be reminded to keep God first. Bless his name in all that we do. Be godly examples as we move throughout the land in which we live. It is now offering time. It is offering time. It is an opportunity for us to give to the Lord through tithes, offering, and sacrificial gifts. It is an opportunity for us to give to the Lord through tithes, offering, and sacrificial gifts. It is time for us to give to the Lord. You can do that at the New Beginning Church in three ways. Number one, you can give by way of cash app. Our cash tag is NBC Souls. 
Our cash tag is NBC Souls. Or you can give by way of Zelle. Our Zelle account is lifting.jesus at yahoo.com. Lifting.jesus at yahoo.com. The idea is, as Jesus is lifted up, he will draw all men unto himself. Our third way of giving is by way of P.O. Box or mail. You can mail your offering to P.O. Box 503, Missouri City, Texas, 77459. P.O. Box 503, Missouri City, Texas, 77459. P.O. Box 503, Missouri City, Texas, 77459. Thank you for joining us here tonight for our live broadcast. You can also join us every Sunday at 9 a.m. for Sunday School. You can join us every Sunday for our worship service at 1045 a.m. And we'll be right back with you every Wednesday at 720 p.m. for our Bible study. Again, thank you so much for being a part of our service. Want to say Happy New Year to you. Sister Davis, you have some glasses that I can put on. Uh, I want to celebrate, celebrate this new year. I want to bring this new year in with a great celebration. I don't know how I ended up with this color, but I guess it worked. I want to just say Happy New Year. Happy, happy New Year. Happy New Year. 2021. Happy, happy, happy New Year. This may be backwards on your screen, but happy, happy New Year. Happy, happy New Year. Happy New Year to you. Happy New Year. God has blessed us. He has blessed us one more time. And because he has blessed us, we thank him and we praise him for what he has already already done. Thank you so much for joining us here tonight. Thank you for this hour of power. The last, last day of the old year marching into the new year. Look at somebody in your room, somebody in your, your, your area, somebody on your Facebook page, somebody on your watch party and say, Happy New Year! Happy New Year. Sister Davis, come on by. I just want to wish you a Happy New Year. We can only wish people Happy New Year that are in our house this year. But God is looking forward to a great year in 2021. And we are looking forward to a great year in 2021. As we always do in our church service at the end of the year, we want to bring the new year in by having families together. Go ahead and grab the family members in your house. And we're going to close out tonight in prayer, asking God to bless this new year. If he allows us to cross over, we want to be a living, walking epistle for him. We want to be a living testimony for Jesus the Christ. So grab everybody in the house, and, and we want to end this night in prayer. I told you that prayer is God talking to us and us talking to God. And he has blessed us. Regardless of what has happened, regardless of what we think have gone wrong, God has continued to bless us. Amen. Let's go to God in prayer. Father God, we thank you. God, we glorify you. Lord, we magnify you. We make you big before other men. Lord, we lift you up. For you blessed us another year. Hopefully to make it to a, a new year. Lord, we're just minutes away. But God, we know if anybody's going to allow us to make it, it would be you. Yes, God. Lord, we didn't deserve it. Yes, God. Lord, we've fallen short. God, we messed up. Yes, God. Lord, we continue to sin Jeez. when we knew we were wrong. God, we ask you to forgive us yes, for it. Lord, we ask you, Father God, to bless us. Renew a right spirit within yes, us. God. Bless us to be made whole again. In the name of Jesus, 
God, we honor you today. We realize that you are the only true God. You're the self-existing one. You are our Lord, our Savior. You are God all by yourself. And we thank you for 2020. We thank you for the lives you have spared. We thank you for the testimonies you have given. We thank you, Lord, for blessing our lives to roll on just a little while longer. Lord, we honor you tonight. We praise you tonight. We magnify you tonight. We thank you, Lord, for our family members. We thank you for our friends. We thank you for our opportunities of worship. Yes, God, we praise you tonight. Thank you, now, Lord, we're looking forward to 2020. We're looking forward to 2020 ending and 2021 coming in. Thank we're you. looking forward to you doing great things in 2021. Yes. We're looking forward to you using us in 2021. We're looking forward to you blessing us. We're looking forward to you giving us an opportunity to talk to you through prayer. We want to listen to you through your word. Yes. We pray, Father God, that you continue to bless us, Father God, that we were engaged by financing your ministry, yes. that we were engaged by giving tithes, offerings, and sacrificial giving. Lord, we thank you, Father God, for the affirmation yes. that you will give us as we will observe and remember your marvelous works. We thank you, Lord, for being, being God. We yes. thank you for your wonders. We thank you for the things that you've already done. We glorify you, yes. and we affirm to the world that you are a great God, yes. and you are a great king. Yes, Jesus. Now, Lord, we pray, Father God, that you continue to bless us, Lord, that we will continue to walk with you, dear Father, yes. and that we will always look to you, the author and the finisher of our faith. Bless us today, Father God. Bless us this year, Father God. Give us our daily bread, Father God. Yes. And bless us to always remember who you are and what you have already done. Lord, we ask you to keep us now yes. and bless our lives, that our lives will continue to roll on, Father God. Now, Lord, we ask you to give us a burning desire yes. to study your word. Yes. Bless us to study your word, Father God. Bless us, Father God, to spend quality time reading and studying your word. Bless us to study your word daily, Father God, yes. that your word will be real to us. For we realize that there is power. There is power. There is strength. Yes. There is might in your word. Now, Lord, we ask you to bless us to reach out and touch somebody. Bless us to evangelize, Father God. Yes. Bless us in evangelism, Father that we will share the good news of Jesus Christ. Yes. Bless us, we will share him through watch parties. Bless us that we will share him through TikTok. Bless us that we share yes. him through the news, through the grapevine. Bless us to share him, Father God, through yes. Instagram. Bless us to share him through Facebook posts. We pray, Father God, that we use every need, every opportunity yes. that we can get to share Jesus Christ. Bless us to share him in person. We know this pandemic is going to come to an end soon. We know, Father God, that you're going to make a way out of no way. Bless us to share the Jesus Christ we know person to person. Yes. Bless us to share him in writing, Father God, to tell somebody about the good news of Jesus the Christ. We thank you now. We glorify you now. We bless your name now. Thank you for blessing us to enter into a new year. We say glory. Yes, we say hallelujah. We praise you. you. We magnify you. Yes. We lift you, Father God. We thank you for yes. the victory. In yes. Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Amen. 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 And thank God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Glory to his name. <laughs> Happy New Year. <laughs> Happy New Year. God bless you. Amen. A heap in a plenty. Now unto him who is able to keep us from falling, unto him the only wise and only true God, unto him be power, be glory, in dominion. Until we meet again, let us all sing by saying, amen, 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 and amen. God bless you and God keep you is our prayer. Amen. Thank you and God bless you for joining us here tonight. We praise God for you.